All right, we are now being joined by Sabah Hamasi. We'll begin with a few questions from the media here. Will, your line is now live. Hey, Saba, how you doing, man? I'm good, how are you? I'm good. This is Will from the Fight Gods podcast. I just wanted to ask you, with four straight wins, where do you see your career in Bellator going with a win over Paul Daly? Question. I mean, to be honest, I was actually surprised not seeing him in the in the top 10. Um, you know, I had him... I had him up there, uh, but after this win, I see myself just climbing the ladder, you know, climbing the ladder, getting closer to a title shot. Okay. And you think you'll be in the top 10 after this fight? Absolutely. Why wouldn't I? I'm number eight right now. Okay. So after this fight, I win. Why wouldn't I be in the top 10? I, I meant the top five. Excuse me. Sorry about that. Well, since he's not in the top five, I don't see myself moving up in the top five. But um, I, had him, I had him in the top five. <clears throat> I was surprised not to see him, uh, Korshkov, and, uh, and Lorenz Larkin. So. Alex, go ahead. Hi, hey, Sabah. Um, I just have a quick question for you. So uh, you're on the longest winning streak of your career. Um, what do you uh, attribute, attribute that to? Sorry, one more time. You're on, you're on the longest winning streak of your career. Uh, what do you attribute that to? I, I can't hear you. What do you attribute that to, your longest winning streak? Oh, um, what do I attribute that to? I mean, it's just, you know, the hard work. And, um, you know, I've said it before and said it again. It's more of a mental state for me. It's like something just mentally clicked for me, and I'm putting everything together now. So um, I had the skill set. Um, just everything is just coming together, perfect timing for me. Awesome. Thank you. Max, go ahead. Hi, I'm Max Morales from MMA Pit, and I want to ask you, you've been in, in top promotions throughout your whole career, and now you're fighting a guy that's, that's nearly 65, 60 professional fights. What do you think about this this great challenge that Paul Daly represents? Um, what, what was it? Could, could you repeat the question there, Max? Yeah. Um, so you've been in your whole professional career in, in top promotions like this one, like, like Bellator. And now you're fighting Paul Daly that has nearly, nearly 60 pro fights. What's the challenge that you think of Paul Daly? Biggest challenge fighting Paul Daly. Biggest challenge? Uh, I just got to respect his power, but he has to respect mine too. Um, but other than that, I see myself beating him everywhere um i don't care how many fights he has i fought people with more fights than him uh i don't give a shit you know i do it every day in the gym and it's, to me it's just you know it's a fight thank you so much santiago hi saba thank you for the time of course roman Roman Feraldo was sitting here two weeks ago and he told us that, you, that he helped you out with your camp and he was all fired up about your intensity in training. Of course, Roman had a beautiful KO win himself. Also, Cody Law, Dalton Rasta won their fight. ATT is taking over in Bellator. Can you feel that in the gym as well, that the fight uh, is extremely good? Yeah, definitely, man. Um, we got a great crew back there. I was super stoked for these guys um, the past weekend when they got their W. Um, yeah, man, I'm, I'm just excited. You know, we're all doing great. Uh, we got great coaching, great teammates. So I'm just excited to showcase my skills Friday night. So who did you bring for in your corner, Saba? Who did you bring in your corner this fight? Uh, I have Mike Brown, Dustin Poirier, and uh, my manager, Brian Butler. Pretty good crew. Good luck on fight night, sir. Thank you very much. All right. Appreciate the time, Saba. Good luck on Friday. Thank you. Thank you.